I feel like your reporting on the arc of first the, the, the charities and, and, and then the businesses and the emoluments and all that was this through line that, that will endure and the failure of his business empire, the indebtedness of his companies, while it feels like karma, is still a remarkable story of failure and calamity. How bad is it? It's worse than I think it's been for Trump since maybe his famous collapse at the end of the 18, 1980s and the beginning of the 1990s. So not only are all of his businesses that have anything to do with hospitality getting crushed by COVID, losing as much as 60 percent of their revenue in a year last year, the things that the, the people, the partners, the opportunities that he might have used to build it all back, he's lost those just in the last couple of weeks because of his own actions. You can't blame anybody but himself, lawyers, bankers, golf tournaments. He's lost it all because of what he did on January 6th. So it was already a very dire situation. And now the ladder he was going to use to climb out of it seems to be gone. Can you just layer those things, though, for us? Because th that seems like the, the thing that, that made it, you know, that made the sinkhole fall through. But he had his indebtedness. He had Deutsche Bank and other lenders fleeing from him even before the insurrection. And then after the insurrection, he lost all opportunities to associate and anything like like golf or celebrities or anyone, any company that cares about its image as being against an insurrection, fleeing from his properties. How do they stack up and what is the most damaging to him now? Well, I think the, some of the most damaging things for him, I mean, put aside COVID, which has crushed the entire hospitality industry, but especially his properties, because they were already, they had already driven away half their clientele by appealing only to people affiliated with Trump's politics. So he came in with that problem, with, with a, a, you know, a, a, an empire dependent on tourism, and tourism is gone and won't come back for years to come. Uh, but then he still had people who'd stuck by him. He had lawyers. He had bankers. He had vendors. And he even had something that the PGA had given him, the PGA Championship in 2022. All these people who'd stuck with him through Charlottesville, stuck with him through his political campaign in 2015. They were still there uh, and ready for him to come out and, and restart his business. And now they're gone. And so three of the four banks that held the bulk of his money, even his banks won't hold his money anymore. Even the lawyers that defended it for years won't help him anymore. So that forces him to find new banks, new lawyers, go down to the B team or the C team or the D team just at the moment when he needs professional help the most. At a moment also when he's under extreme legal scrutiny in New York state, I talked to a um, former uh, Trump ally who said that, and this was before the insurrection, said that he will spend the rest of his life in litigation over his businesses and, and the way he was, um, you know, all, all of his legal exposure there. What is the, what does that picture look like with everyone running away from him? Do they become more willing witnesses in those criminal investigations? I think Trump has to really think about that. Uh, he has uh, driven away some of his lawyers. He's alienated folks who used to work for him. I mean, the, the, the draw with the Trump organization had always been loyalty. You know, he'll be loyal to you. You'll be loyal to him. The people who'd worked for him worked for him for years and years and years. Um, now he needs all those folks, those internal folks, outsiders like lawyers and bankers and accountants. He needs all of them to show loyalty to him because, as you said, his business is under legal scrutiny like it's never been before. The New York attorney general and the Manhattan district attorney are simultaneously investigating Trump's finances. They're going to want witnesses, documents and, and cooperation from folks. And, and you have to think that what he's done in the last few weeks makes it more likely that they'll find people who will say, look, you know, this is the time I'm turning my back on Donald Trump. I got to think about myself and not him. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. You should know that you can follow today's top stories and breaking news and catch up on your favorite MSNBC shows all in one place. Download the NBC News app today.